Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque. Then I'll take you for a drive in it, but uh, first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. The first thing is I'm not getting out of this car. <laughs> it's horrific out there. Um, but best car to be in, a Range Rover of any description. It's a 2.2 SD4 autobiography. It's automatic, 2015 on a 64 plate, has done 83,000 958 miles, fuel economy, urban, 39.2 miles per gallon, extra urban, 53.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 47.1 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 8 seconds, a top speed of 121 miles per hour, out of a 4-cylinder, 187 brake horsepower, 16-valve engine. This vehicle will park itself, both perpendicular and parallel, and it will get you out of a tight parking space automatically. Blind spot warning indicators, high pressure headlamp wash, front and rear parking sensors, 360 cameras, multi spoke alloy wheels, plastic wheel arch protection mouldings, full panoramic glass roof, rear privacy glass, power open tailgate, power close, reversing camera, twin aluminium exhaust tips, and keyless entry. Service history good service history here. First one's a PDI, so I won't bother with that. 4th of the 8th, 2015 at 16,936 miles. Guy Salmon Land Rover. 5th of the 1st, 2016 at 29,169 miles. Guy Salmon Land Rover. 14th of 7th, 2016 at 46,027 miles. Guy Salmon Land Rover. 8th of 11th, 2017 at 59,297 miles. Hunters Land Rover. 24th of 5th, 2019 at 67,823 miles, DDS Limited. 1st of 10th, 2020, at 74,046 miles, DDS Limited. 15th of 11th, 2022, at 81,010 miles. That's done at speedies. I did notice all the all the tyres are like brand new as well. Really, really nice car. Um, for Ends Red, I think it is, with Magnolia or, or, or Cream Leather. Great specification. That's that's the key. As long as you've got the key on you, it, it's uh, you shouldn't really put it there because that's the that's the, the parking brake which I never use. But anyway, so foot on the brake. As long as the key's in the car, the car will start. It's got TV as well. I won't show you because you can never switch the things off. But this is the the parking here. If you click on that, that's parallel parking. Click it again perpendicular parking click it again we'll get you out of a tight spot and uh, that, that's it off and we've also got one of, one of the things with the cameras when they first came out I thought they were a fantastic idea but to be fair you've seen all the problems I have with my GoPros these GoPros are in, a, in the car they're, they're supposed to be action cameras they're in the car they're dry they kept dry all the time when they're not in the car here they're in a big padded camera bag so they're all really well looked after they're not stuck in the bumpers all around the car in the freezing cold weather in the pouring rain banging the tailgate banging the doors and so on and going over bumps all those all those things these these cameras i'm lucky if they last 12 months before i have to replace them um, and they're molly coddled so you can imagine what it's like for a, a camera in, in the car going through car washes getting power washed just anyway so the reason why i don't think the the good idea anymore is we have to keep replacing them and nobody uses them i don't think i i even i don't use them but so extra features you first of all home menu then extra features i click on it extra features you've got cameras there go into cameras uh, click at the top there that brings them all up look and you can see there there's a uh, that one, blue screen, front right. Somehow it always seems to be the front right that goes on these, but all the rest you can you can see out of. You see there, I can just uh, click on that and enlarge it. So that, that's it, go back. Oh, let's just see, enlarge that one. That's that's the side, that's so you don't, you see there, the, the front wheel moving, so you don't damage your uh, you scuff your alloys when you get in too close, I suppose. Um, 
that's that's basically it. That's the that's the rear camera. And large. So that's the reversing camera. So it's got all those anyway. Special views. So I can click there. That's the. Uh, I was going to put my window down, but I can't because the camera's on here. But you'll see there if I again, if I just turn that to the right, you see the right front window. But apart from that, it's a gimmick. I mean, I, I, honestly, they, they cost us so much that um, <sighs> what can you say? Oh, there we go. Heated steering wheel, heated seats, heated front windscreen. Actually, I'm, I may have to put my sunglasses on because we've gone from torrential rain to sunshine. Oh, before we get going, we'll do the memory seat roulette so position one I've changed for myself and, and that's easy enough to do so you, you just get where you want to be click I just need to be further back there click memory click one that saves your door mirrors and your uh, your seats now then this is position two I don't know who's had this go before position two you'll see the door mirrors changing to where they used to have it So that's where they used to drive. Position three. Posi oh, position three is even. So position three, that one, I don't know what position that is anyway. So back to position one for me. There we go. The car's got great audio system. It's got Meridian speakers, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. And then, it, of course, I'm going to put my shades on. And then we've got the full pan roof into drive. Let's get going. The pan roof is a great thing. It, it does change the interior of the car. Nice light and airy. Put that on nav. Don't want that. It's got dual screen TV as well. So the driver can't watch the TV when the car's moving, but the passenger can. However, what the driver can see, if he wants, is his sat nav. So passenger can watch TV, drivers can still have the sat nav and the sat nav screen to see where they're going. which is a good design. Steering wheel's getting nice and toasty. Now I've just received a text, which means I'm gonna stop up here and have a look at it. a uh, nice view of the road you see all round you're not frightened of going through puddles or streams you've got your terrain response here oh actually if I click that over there that's into dynamic yeah that's dynamic and all the the dials go red the, car gets angry and it uh, the throttle's more responsive the steering wheel feels like it is but whether it is or not but to be honest I don't need 
it's in dynamic. Yeah, it, it's just a whole lot nicer driving it in general. Let's just get this. Can't get, can't get comfortable today. So that's, that's it. Wipers are good. So the, the tyres, I'll just check my techs. Right, uh, park, handbrake on, ignition off. Check me text. Right, no. Put on the brake, start again, into drive, away we go. Must remember to show you the blind spot indicator warning lamps. They're a real good idea. They, they really are. So they're, they're, quite, they're quite cheap. And you only need to stop your pulling out once. And you've probably saved a motorcyclist's life. Or perhaps even your own if there's a lorry coming. One of the reasons I sold my Fireblade was I was overtaking a, a car which had a caravan on the back and uh, on a dual carriageway and all of a sudden just as I got alongside he started pulling across or just as I was getting alongside he started pulling across which left me little room for the oncoming traffic to squeeze through without a real big handful <laughs> or braking and still getting clipped by his uh, caravan and if he'd have had blind spot indicator warning lamps I'd probably still have a fire blade <laughs> and clean pants <laughs> I said before, I like the look of these Evokes. Best looking car of its class, I think. And best looking, uh, best, sorry, best design, best drive, best four wheel drive system, easiest to use. We've got cruise control, that's just on the right here. Again, click that, that's it, cruise is on. No messing about. I do think, and I, I do think in the early days that Land Rover designers had to design things that worked when people had freezing cold hands. It was pitch black and you'd got big gloves on and big coats. And I think they should go back to that now. Touch screens do not belong in a car when you're bouncing all over the place. You're just asking for trouble and you're asking for the driver to take his eye off the road rather than just do that and then click without having to look there and know where your buttons are. Wipers on the right, indicators and lights on the left. Got automatic lights. Speedo on the left. Information display in the center with your coolant temperature and your fuel gauge. Coolant temperature's on the left, fuel gauge is on the right. And then your speedo in your information display 
you've also got uh, Baz, why do you come on this motorway? You know you shouldn't. just shouldn't but we're not in a hurry as such we are actually oh, I was just kidding so anyway you saw the electric blind there as well you've got here's your, your three position electric memory seats your electric windows here, then you have power folding door mirrors, and that's your switch. I have tested them, if I knock that over to the right, that's your the switch, that's the left one, so they're all working perfectly. Heated front screen, heated rear screen stop start, which you need to knock off straight away because it's it, it's the, the devil's idea. You know, they make brilliant things like blind spot indicator warning lamps, and then they make stop starts where you're just about to set off from a roundabout and your engine cuts out, and then you, you spurt forward right in front of a wagon. You're still pressing the accelerator. If you leave it late to pull out, that is, which I, I, you should never do. Just just great, nice and comfortable. Front centre armrest there with, in there you've got USBs, I think you've got a HDMI, um, auxiliary in here. We saw the nav before, but you've got the audio video there where you, you can have the TV. I'm going to knock that off. Bluetooth, hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming. nice wood grain which Jaguar Land Rover products are uh, the, the wood grain is as you would expect from English craftsmen the finest in the world Meridian speakers just just a very very nice car again we've We've gone out and we've bought this in. Ah, oh dear me, look at the traffic coming the other way. This is the same every Friday now. Every Friday from about 11 o'clock in the morning. It makes it impossible to get back to Preston. If you go anywhere. So it may as well be a four, four day week really, because you're not going anywhere on Friday. Fortunately, we're coming off in the next roundabout, so. So good car, good color combination. Good service history, tyres are great, it's the autobiography and uh, really, really nice car. Good turn of speed, great diesel engine. Oh, 
about 70. We'll just click cruise control on again. So there you go. Cruise on. Effortless. We're doing just under 70 miles an hour. It's doing about 1600 revs. I think really a sensible option would be rather than to, you know, the miles, how many miles your car's done. You should also have how many revs it's covered. There's all sorts of, there's all sorts of things, all sorts of different, you know, stuck in traffic jams, as opposed to just doing 70 on a motorway at 1600 revs. There's a chap um, parks across the road from us at the garage and of course he parks like that on the hill and whether he's uh, hearing impaired or, or whatever and can't hear the engine but the engine he sets off and the engine screaming and he's slipping the clutch all you can smell is burning clutch and friction plate. You know, his car, it, it may have done, say, 15,000 miles, but it's probably done the same amount of revs as, as one that's done 100,000 miles. Goodness me, Park, fancy parking there. They would rather cause an accident or get the child killed there, getting in at the car, and park in a sensible place. We've got, we keep going on, we've got some lovely cars in at the moment. We've just got a, a Discovery in British Racing Green with, um, is it Almond? I think it might be Almond Upholstery. And it's, uh, it's beautiful. We've got some Freelanders in. The Velar, just sold the, the the big Range Rover, the big autobiography. We've got the other autobiography left with the four seats. That that's a fantastic car too. A couple of Jeeps. We've got three Audi A1s. We've got a, we've got a, a two-liter Audi A1 coming. That looks a bit of a beast. Bright yellow. We've got a bright orange metallic A1 an automatic there we go that's the little camera I've got here that's overheated and gone off and that's in uh, what 20 minutes so as I was saying before about the all round the 360 cameras they shouldn't be in cars And I don't see as a, I mean, I, I wouldn't pull out onto a road looking at those screens. Um, one of the reasons is, I suppose, the resolution on, on the screen, it, it ain't going to be 4K. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's also a tiny percentage of the actual screen. Your eyes see in 8K, so <laughs> you, it's a, it's a gimmick. It is. It's a gimmick. You heard it here first. I I used to think they were a great idea, but since since we've spent thousands of pounds over the years replacing cameras that nobody uses, 
I don't think this is such a good idea anymore. And it's it's amazing how when you uh, when you're looking at them to buy them, and you say they uh, well, that camera don't work. Oh, I never use it. <laughs> never use it. Mm, fair enough. Air conditioning's lovely as well, it's nice and cool. You got in there two cup holders, a power socket. And now then, have we got we've got heated and cooled seats as well. So I didn't know that. I knew they were heated, but I didn't know they were cool too. Polarised glasses making it difficult for me to see. All right. See, now that's another thing I didn't know. Of course, if I read the instruction books once, once in a while, I, I, I'd realise. So, seat zone. You can you can choose where it's coming, whether it comes through the back and the seat squab, or the seat squab and not the back, or the back and not the seat squab. So that's seat zone there. And then let's just oh, that's turning it down, and that's putting the whoa. You can also. <laughs> I, you can also choose whether that is very, very good considering I've got a bad back. So you can have it set where it just warms your back up. In fact, I think I'll do that. Or just warms your bum up. So I'll just put that on the back. That's on three. Now that's, uh, that's a brilliant idea. My lad, I was going through ready, he doesn't care. <laughs> to be fair, he can say, and I, I, I don't quite understand these lights. You could, you could get through there, but. Twenty to two. Here comes the rain again. Any Lennox? Or was that perhaps? I don't think whether it was the Eurythmics or just Annie Lennox. Lovely car. Rear wash wipe there, that's on the end. That's squirting the rear screen. Pull it towards you, that's squirting the front screen. If you've got your headlamps on, that'll also squirt the headlights.
what can I say? Another fantastic car from Grosvenor Garage. I wish I could say I had a hand in sourcing it, but I didn't. It's all down to John. <laughs> here we go. Look at these cars here. Skoda, big Chrysler Estate, Q7, Black Freelander, ML350, Q5, Jeep Renegade, BMW i3, another Freelander, the Velar. Ah, ah, John must have gone out because the Discovery is missing. <laughs> The green discovery, his new favourite car, is missing. I just re-photographed. Re, I just re-photographed our um, one litre Golf. When I first photographed it and videoed it, it, this, it was in brilliant sunshine, and it and it made it look kind of a, a completely different colour, like a sickly yellow and uh, anyway we photographed that yesterday so that's looking beautiful too so that's it it's a lovely car um, I really like it and thoroughly recommend it come and buy it please <laughs> it's John's weekend on as well this weekend so <laughs> feel feel free to uh, to ring him tomorrow thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye bye